This is unreal. You're a lifesaver, mate. No problems. Sure I can't spot your room for the night? Food, few bevies? Maybe next time, eh? You're on. The whole hog. Hey, thanks again. Drive safe. Who was that? Oh, mate from home. Drug dealer. Give me a break. I've got a stock take to do. I'll be right there to help you. No thanks, good enough problems. We're in the red this month, thanks to your other thieving mates. They weren't mates, and I'll pay you back for every cent they took. Yeah, out of the wages I pay you. Well, you'd be paying a barman anyway, and giving most of it back. That puts you ahead. Of what? Have you checked on the silver one yet? I did some work on it while you were away. Yeah, well, I hope you said goodbye, because it'll be your last visit. Oh, don't be like that, Nick. We're family. Has Wave told you? She's still having nightmares about those heavies. No. Because she's too nice. If she wasn't, you'd be out on your ear. Yeah, so anyway, I was like... Hey. <laughs> that was so not funny! Excellent! Rejects? You okay, Shit? Uh, yeah, here, yeah, just got an exam tomorrow. So. Tomorrow? Like first thing in the morning? You should have told me, man. I wouldn't have stringed you into that movie last night. Nah, nah, it was my choice. and It's not like I haven't studied, I'm just nervous, that's all. You want me to test you? Yeah, cool. <clears throat> a child comes in with suspicious bruises. You've heard from the child's school that his behaviour and performance have deteriorated lately. What do you do? Well, I talk to the kid and then I talk to the parents and I notify SIFs. Then I check the kid's medical records to see if they have any similar injuries and then I try as hard as I can to keep the kid safe, you know, from abuse. Sounds good to me, babe. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you're really into this stuff, eh? Yeah, well, I wouldn't be uni otherwise. <laughs> My car's at a garage five minutes down the road and the mechanic wants it picked up. And Judy won't let me off premises, even though it's my lunch hour. You think that's bad? I'm not allowed to drop Harry's jacket off at crash. Chris has to do it. Mm. How small does that make me feel? Do you hear that? They're talking about Judy. So? So is getting stupid, man. She's treating us like kids. Why should we put up with her? Um, because she's the boss. Yeah, and I'm union rep. I just forgotten that. Cheers, mate. Hey, how's it? Do you tell me? Sweet, sweet. Um, how about we duck out the back more private? I think we're fine right here, can't we, crew? You can't be long, eh? That's up to you. Cough up the cash or the weed. Or time to get taxi up on that offer going out the back. Yeah, I fully recommend the uh, Kuma fries. They'd be as good as the stuff you gave Sam. Yeah, they are. We only use Taranaki Gold Kuma. Hope so. For your sake. So, that makes us about square now. Call it quits? I think he wants us to leave, don't you, gentlemen? It's just that I'm out of the game now. Can't act playing with the big boys, eh? I'm bailing while I'm still ahead. Pleasure doing business with you. I know what I like, but I'm not the clientele, am I? Well, and you're thinking I will be. <laughs> well, I'm hoping you poke your nose in at least once. But if you think the place is good enough, then well... No, 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 I'm not saying that. I just... Got the impression you were aiming for something a bit more upmarket than I'm used to. More upmarket than a rich doctor. <laughs> you are the target, mate. Well, I can tell you what I like, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. The music's got to be good. Not too loud, of course. Of course. Okay. Nice open fire would be good. Nice slow ambient lighting. What's this? Your ideal love nest? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, my new bar. I'm just testing the waters. Oh, what you need is a DJ. A good one. Keep the place pumping. Yeah, you got to get the beats right. Well, that's me out the door. If I can't hear myself think, I'm, I'm off down to the docks. Unless you've fallen asleep in front of the open fire, of course. With all that unst unst going on, I don't think so. Nah, it won't all be like that, mate. We've got you old fellas to think about. Huh. Spoil sport. <laughs> oh, well, who's going to spend more money, you or him? Oh, listen to the big-time capitalist. That didn't take long. If you're talking disposable income, you can't go past the pink dollar. What? Gay money. That's the market you should be chasing. A gay bar? There's nightclubs aplenty for that sort of thing. No, what you need is a nice neighbourhood bar. A beer garden. A place where you can take the kids. You don't even have kids. So? So the whole point of going to a bar is to get away from the kids. Well, go to a nightclub. 
Well, she can't. They've all been overrun by gays, haven't you heard? Hi. Hi. Can I tempt you with anything? Ooh, the muffins look good. Yeah. Boysenberry and white chocolates. Oh, no, no, on the house. Are you sure? No, I've got some I mean it. I mean it. I've got hardly any change left anyway. Okay. There you go. Um, Shin. Look, about last night... Yeah, it was late and we just... We fell asleep, that's all. I know, Tama told me. It's good to see you two getting on better. Yeah. But I am worried. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do want us all to get on together, but we just can't go on pretending that things haven't changed, eh, Shannon? Yeah, of course, Auntie. Don't you worry about that. Good. We just need to know where we all stand, that's all. Great 